Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sinead and I'm going to be doing a H&M Spring Haul today. So I'm literally a classic case of all the gear and no idea. Um, I just went to a conference and um, I got back and I was all about like blogging and YouTube and blogs and Instagram and everything and I was like that's it this year I'm going to crack YouTube blah blah blah. Went out, ordered a microphone, wouldn't film anything until it came, sat down today to film Put my microphone in, got it all set up, and lo and behold, my camera doesn't have a microphone port. So, back to the drawing board, maybe I need a new camera, but I had already got all the stuff to film the video, and I just really missed filming. So, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. Um, before I do so, um, I do weekly videos, I'm hoping to do two weekly, but I'll definitely always have a video on a Sunday, whether it's a haul or styling or ways to wear, um, there's always going to be something there, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see those things. So if you've been around before or you follow me on my blog or Instagram or anything, anywhere, then you'll already know that I've I was in LA, um, so the reason that I originally went to LA was I went with H&M to um, launch their Conscious Collection, so we did a photo shoot there, I'll put a picture in, it was the most surreal experience of my life, literally, probably the biggest career highlight ever, I just couldn't believe that a brand like H&M wanted to work with me, let alone fly me to LA, uh, had the most amazing time, I'm not bragging, just wanted to set the scene. So um, they offered me the opportunity to pick a whole wardrobe of H&M things to take with me so that I was wearing the H&M the whole time. Um, and I honestly was obsessed with everything. Um, and so I wanted to order some more things when I got back because I'd seen loads on the new in section that I liked before I went away. Um, and then again, um, the Conscious Collection just dropped, which is all the kind of sustainable, ethical pieces. Um, and so I've got quite a lot of pieces from there. And I basically just wanted to do a little spring wardrobe refreshed. So I thought, obviously, I've got to share it with you guys. So I'll just grab my dress. I can't remember exactly how many pieces I have. But I've got a big bag here. And I've got some shoes and trousers and dresses. I think I've got a bit of everything. So I'm just going to dive in. I'm going to pick each piece out and then go through it with you. So this one I've actually already opened, um, I'll just be honest, <laughs> basically I had to do a photo shoot yesterday for a brand um, and I am staying at my parents house at the moment to look after their dog, um, this is actually my sister's flat, she's away so I'm like stealing it to film in. Um, and yeah I was like I have nothing to shoot and then I was like I know I've got that dress, um, so I pulled this out, so I've already worn this and I love it. Uh, so this is a size, does it say the size? Medium. I usually get things quite oversized. I like to play with my sizing um, to see like, I'll look at something and then I'll think how I want it to fit. So this is a shirt dress and it's kind of a shirt dress with a twist. Um, it's got like a really nice collar and low neck and then it's got this like ruffle detail. So it's like shirt material, but it's actually a lot softer than the usual shirt material you get and it's like super puffy and ruffled out but i'll show you it on i actually love this dress it's so pretty i've already tried it on as you know for a photo shoot but i didn't get a bright chance to properly look at it definitely needs a good iron um but it's so pretty the only thing is that when i was walking down the street the other day it was like blowing everywhere and i was walking along like marilyn monroe like ah. um but no it's so pretty i think you could dress this up dress this down um, I love the sleeves too because they kind of like go out and then in again. I love the sleeves too because they kind of go out and then in again. They've got this really nice cuff. Um, and I also think like a white shirt makes you look so much more tanned, which I'm always there for. Um, it's got a really nice low neck, but it's not too wide. Like you wouldn't have to worry about anything slipping out. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really nice length too. It's not too short. Comes to like just above the knee. Um, I, I think it's beautiful, very pretty dress, again, yeah, dress it up, dress it down, I think, let me show you, I'm going to dress it down, um, I'll show you in the cutaways, um, with some like biker boots, I think it will look really cool, love it, so I know what this is already, it's a jacket, um, I actually wanted to order this jacket for 
um, my trip with H&M, but because it was in LA, I was like, oh, I'd better not, because I probably won't wear it. So as it was, it was quite chilly, so I probably could have done with this jacket. Um, but yeah, as soon as I got back, I was like, I need to order that jacket, because I've been thinking about it. And it's actually quite heavy, um, so it's like super on trend with the whole utility trend, um, and it's got these big pockets on the front. It's kind of got like a, do you call that like a funnel neck when it's a bit higher? Wide sleeves, but they're not um, full, I don't think they're full length, I think they're like three quarter. It's got these like drop shoulder details. It's got a waistband that you can cinch in. It's a really nice kind of beige, sandy color. Um, I think this will be so nice in summer, like over dresses, or you could wear it um, just with like jeans and stuff as well. It can look nice layered as well. I just think there's so many different ways I'll wear this. This is such a lovely kind of, it's kind of like the trench coat vibe, but more of a like on trend piece. Okay, I literally interrupted filming this video for like an hour to just take selfies in this jacket. I'm obsessed. It's amazing. I love the collar. I love the sleeves like they are kind of they are full length they're just like really wide with the drop shoulder i love these pockets they're amazing um you can like pull this in to make it more of a fitted style here i'll show you i just I, everything about it i'm in love i think it would look really cute with a little dress as well or just like jeans and stuff like a really simple outfit like skinny jeans and heels perfect or to skinny jeans and trainers. Like, honestly, I'm obsessed with this jacket. It's so nice. <gasps> I've been looking at getting it for ages and like, I just don't know why I haven't. And now I'm like annoyed at myself because I've lost out on all that wear. But I could have worn it so long. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. It's so nice. It's so soft too. It's like the softest material. Officially in love. Oh, so the next thing is a play suit. This is so cute and you can definitely tell that I was like on the utility trend vibe when I was doing this shop. Um, so it's kind of linen, I think it is linen, or linen style material. It's got tortoise shell buttons and a tortoise shell belt. It's really cute. I love the pockets on the front too. Um, and yeah, I just think this is really nice. I think this will be nice with like t-shirts underneath too, or like knotted t-shirts, so it kind of looks like a pair of shorts, because these are really nice bottoms. Um, so yeah, it look really nice, or like a jumper over the top. I think this will be really cute. Okay, so 10 hours later, I finally got the jumpsuit on. It's such a cute jumpsuit, but oh my God, I forgot how long it takes to put a jumpsuit on, like why? Oh, they're so difficult. It doesn't have a zip or anything, so you do have to completely unbutton, though they aren't fiddly buttons. I'm just a moaner. Um, so yeah, and I'm lazy. But it's really cute. You can see the back, it's just like really simple. Um, and then you could obviously, you don't have to have this, you could have it without the belt. Um, it would look really cute. Or you could have the belt loose. I've just done the belt quite tight um, and then pulled this over, because I think it looks really nice. Um, and as I said, I think the shorts would look really nice on their own too. Um, obviously, like you can't wear them on their own, but like with a jumper over the top, so I'm gonna show you that in a second. Um, I'll do that in the cutaway. But yeah, I really like this. It's got really nice details. The um, tortoise shell belt is so cute and it is removable, so um, that's quite a good bonus. So you could wear it um, with another uh, outfit or like some jeans or something, or if you've got like a little pretty dress and you wanna cinch it in. Um, that would look really cute. So this piece is from their um, Conscious Collection. So it's 77% organic cotton. So obviously you can tell I really like white beige colours. <laughs> um, and it's got these really nice big sleeves. Kind of, um, can you see the like bordery on glace detail on the along there? And then on the hemline as well, it's got like this really pretty bordery on glace. Uh, and it's kind of like... Um, is it cheese? No, not cheese cloth. I don't know what you call that material, but it's kind of like linen-y, but a lot thinner. I think this will be so nice on holiday. And you know when you go on holiday and you want to be, like, cool because it's hot, but you want to go somewhere that, you know, when you go to visit um, certain places abroad and you have to have your shoulders and arms covered up. So this is, like, the perfect kind of thing for, like, sightseeing and that. I really like this. So this is the other white dress. 
um, and it's so lightweight and comfortable and easy to wear. I don't find the neckline as flattering. Um, it's like this isn't the most flattering neckline for me. Like obviously my hair kind of covers it, so it's not that big of an issue. Um, and yeah, so my hair covers it. I don't really wear my hair up, so it's not really much of an issue. And you can have this like more open or like it was tied when I got it, but I untied it. You can tie it up, so it's like high neck um, and then it's got these beautiful like balloon sleeves and embroidery on glaze detail it's so pretty um, but I do think that I prefer the other dress and I do think they're very similar so I think I'll probably keep the other dress rather than this one um, purely because I think I'll get way more wear out of the other one um, and I prefer the neckline for me um, I love a low neck and I know this is quite low I just there's something about this that I'm finding very unflattering on me um, but it's the sort of dress I always see on other people and I'm like, oh my god, I love that dress so much. I wish I could wear things like that and I really like it and then I get it and I'm like, mm, it just doesn't look right on me. There's something about it, but I'm not sure. Okay, so this thing I actually did get for LA and then I loved it so much and I wore it loads and I went to link it and then I realised it came in another colour and I was like, I've got to have the other colour. It's so nice. This skirt, honestly, let me put a picture in of me wearing it in LA. Um, I wore it twice because I just loved it so much, like the exact same outfit, um, which is like Instagram fashion blogger suicide. <laughs> Not really, but like when you're on holiday, you like obviously want to like wear all your new outfits and take pictures and stuff. And I was like, no, I just want to wear that outfit. Like, you know, you put an outfit on and you're like, I just want to wear this for like the next every, every day now because I just feel so good in it. Um, and I just love the skirt so much and it's kind of like the utility, it's like cargo skirt but um, I just loved it and the other one was in like a kind of desert sand and then this is in more of like a Caribbean beach sand. So this is the skirt that I got um, for the second time. I couldn't remember what size my other one was I and mean, I know it's a little bit too big for me but I just can't remember because it's, it's in London and I'm in Stamford um, but let me just show you that this one has got quite a bit like I can shove my whole arm down the back um, and I just feel like it doesn't look bad at all like it looks nice how it is but I do think that it would look better if we just if it was the right size so I think I might reorder this in a size 8 though I am starting to think maybe my other one was a size 10 now I just can't <laughs> make my mind up but yeah I think a size 8 especially because H&M have changed their sizes recently they got a lot of backlash about everything being the wrong size um, and like things were way too small for the size that they were supposed to be which was making people feel really bad about themselves and causing harm to people by making them feel what's the word I don't know I know that I, I personally would like sometimes try on size 12 and be like whoa this bit <laughs> like but normally I'm a size 8 to 10 so I'd be like ah um, but yeah, so I think that's why they've done it, but now I'm like having trouble with my sizing. Okay, so I've just realised that literally everything I've got is like white or cream or sand, like, <laughs> and these are teeth. Literally, somebody put some colour in my wardrobe. These are, these are actually from the Log collection, which I did not know. I never normally buy stuff from there. Um, I would think of it as more like a kind of soccer mum collection, but yeah. So this is a log collection. So these are kind of the linen blend trousers. Now I really didn't think they were linen. I thought they were like kind of sweatshirt material for some reason. Um, but I do actually really like them. I think they're really cool. These could be really cool with um, like chunky trainers or like uh, I've got some really cool boots on at the moment. <laughs> so it could be cool with like these. Um, yeah, I'm really interested to try these on. They're definitely not what I expected. I wonder if they're gonna be see-through. So these are the trousers on. They are so soft, honestly, I don't want to take them off. Like, honestly, I've said this so many times in so many videos, so if you watch me all the time, then you're just gonna die, but honestly, I would sleep in these. Like, you know, this sort of material that you're like, this could be really good for pajamas, they're so soft. Um, I don't think you can see my pants. I am wearing pale pink pants, so it probably just lends itself to these, but I mean, most people wouldn't wear black pants with like pale linen trousers anyway. Um, I think this would look really nice with like a heel, um, but I've just 
went and raided Lauren's wardrobe and found these Adidas trainers, which are so cool. I might have to steal them for the day. Um, and they look really cool with them too, because they're like different tones of beige and white. And then obviously we've got like the gray t-shirt with the beige. So we're just like beige it out. And I think it looks really good. And the pockets are nice. The only thing that is, is they were actually rolled up like this. And I'm quite tall, so I'm five foot seven. Um, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but I just felt a bit uncomfortable. And the annoying thing with things like this is that when you sit down, they get, they get cool like this, and then you end up walking down the street, and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> I have got pedal pushers on. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing is I wish they were teens a bit longer. Oh, so I've got a t-shirt here, and this really is was so I can't remember how much it was. It was under ten pounds. I think it was like five pounds, um, and it really reminded me of like. Ganny, like some of the designer t-shirts going around. I really loved the um, the like watercolour style flowers and it said love speaks louder and it's just a really cute little t-shirt and I thought how cute would that be just like knotted with a little skirt and some denim shorts or jeans. I, I like literally I'm um, like you'll come to learn if you already are subscribed to my channel or if you like watch more of my videos you'll come to learn that I'm literally obsessed with t-shirts like um, I'm actually going to do a series of um, different ways to wear so make sure you subscribe if you want to see those and um, my first one's going to be white t-shirts so this is that really cute Ganny style t-shirt or well, you're probably not thinking it looks like Ganny um, it's really nice soft kind of lightweight material and as you can see it's got this really pretty kind of it's like painted but it's kind of watercolour style t-shirt print so I'd probably do a knot with this um, and I'm wearing it with my little cycling shorts um, and yeah it's a really nice easy material to knot um, and I knot all my t-shirts <laughs> pretty much it's like my go-to style um, and I just think it looks really cute and with a jacket over the top it would look really nice too um, like with a blazer um, there's so many different ways that you could wear it should I grab a blazer to show you guys maybe I should um, but yeah I love the pop of yellow yellow is my favourite colour if you wanted to know another fact about me. Um, and yeah, I just think it fits really nicely. Let me look at what size I got. Yeah, I got a medium um, and it fits like perfectly. I'd also wear it just, you could just wear it like tucked, it's really cute too. Okay, so don't say, don't say. I'm a fan of t-shirts. Um, so I, one of the things that I took to LA with me um, was two t-shirts from the men's section. Now H&M men's section has always been my like shopping hack for finding the best t-shirt and their t-shirts are just so good and these they're three pound 99 and these men's t-shirts are they're just like so perfectly oversized they're really nice thin cotton they hang perfectly and i get them in a medium and i really like how the sleeves go i'll just you'll see when they're on like they're just perfect and i saw this kind of sandy color which i thought was really nice again to go in my sand wardrobe and then I also got a grey colour, but I really like this grey because it's not, it's like a marl and a really nice, can you see, um, they're like marl. So, because you know some greys are like really flat and dark and boring, but I really like this light grey. And I thought, when I was picking out the clothes, I thought it looked really nice, like the grey with the kind of sand bottoms that I've picked out. So yeah. Uh, I got two of these t-shirts and I've already got a black and a white one at home too so basically I'm going to get it in every colour eventually and then last but not least I have a pair of shoes um, and let me get into these okay so I've only unpackaged one <laughs> but I'll try them on for you in the cutaway so I've been um, looking at the minimal sandals and loving them for ages and then oh you can actually see them better like this um, I saw this pair and I love them they're, I don't know if they're real leather I think they might be, you know. Are they real leather? I don't think they are. They kind of smell like leather. Anyway, they're like flip-flop front, and then they've got a couple of other straps, and I just really like them. They've got a really nice chunky heel. Um, I just think they will go so many different things, so many different occasions, and they're a bit different to all the other ones that I've seen, because you know the row ones, I'll put a picture in, that. Um, I like the design ones that everyone has and then I've got the Zara ones of Herbert Trim which are like the high street ones that everyone has um, and then I just spotted these and I haven't seen anyone with them and I haven't seen that style merch in 
I just thought they were a bit different and I like it when the high street kind of has their own ideas because some of the high street stores do take a lot, a lot, a lot of inspiration from designer pieces. Um, so it's really nice to see like a really unique pair that someone's probably going to be like, they're exactly the same as this designer pair, but not like any that I've seen. Um, yeah, so I thought they were really cute. I think they do have them in sand too, but I was like, I've got to order something that's not sand. So I went really out there with black. So these are actually uh, quite loose on me. Um, they're actually 42 and I'm normally a 41. Um, so this is classed as a size 8 in H&M. So yeah, just be aware of that. But I don't really mind. They're not going to come off. And to be fair, like looking at them, maybe I do need a 42. Um, but yeah, please be <laughs> mindful of my toenail varnish. Um, not the best. Fast. Um, but yeah, love these. I, they're actually so comfortable as well. I wasn't sure if they'd be comfortable because of the heel and the um, thong, <laughs> is that what you call it? Um, but they're actually really comfortable and I think they look really cool with jeans and also like with um, a dress I'd wear them. I think they, look really, they would look really nice with a dress too. So I think I'm probably gonna keep these because I just think they're so pretty. That's such a great shoe, don't you think? I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Let me know what your favourite pieces are. Um, I'm definitely not going to keep them all because this is an outrageous amount. I spent £250. Um, but I think I'm definitely going to keep like the shoes, the skirt and the t-shirts and the coat and then maybe the trousers and then... Oh God, that's way too much. <laughs> maybe one of the dresses. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think I should keep. Um, also, I forgot to like draw attention to this top that I'm wearing, which I really love. It's from Revolve. Um, I think I've shown it in one of my hauls in the past, but it's got these really nice kind of like three quarter wide sleeves. So if you're not as tall as me, then it's probably for them. <laughs> um, and I wanted to mention it because it's on sale. Um, I think it's like... I can't remember how much it was on sale and it had already dropped twice in price so I'm not going to try and guess how much it is because it might have dropped again but I will link it in the description below I'm wearing a small and it's like a wrap around but let me show you without flashing you it's like um it's kind of fastened <laughs> like it's sewn already so it's not like one that you have to do yourself you can just you can just slip it on and then it looks like a wraparound top so it's very easy and foolproof and also secure like I've got small boobs so sometimes I find with wraparound tops I'm like <laughs> constantly terrified that something's gonna happen but this is very secure um so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching my video I am back and properly doing it I know that you're probably like oh you never went anywhere but I did, I filmed some videos and then I like scheduled them to go up and I feel like I've been like haphazard, but I'm gonna be back, I'm back with a bang, I'm doing videos every week, I'm gonna make them really good and I've got new editing, I've got a new intro, you might have seen, let me know what you think to my new intro and yeah, just let me know what you think, please subscribe and um, I'll see you next time and if you want to see like everyday outfits and more like styling videos and stuff then make sure you check out my instagram because i always post like daily over there um, and i'll see you next week bye